Hello everyone, my name is Kate and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 5th chapter, Abraham sacrificed Isaac. Abraham obeyed God. Genesis 22. So, we're today we're going to read about Abraham. Abraham worshipped God. He prayed to God. He wanted to please God. Abraham was God's friend. So Abraham loved God. He worshipped God. Abraham was God's friend. Sorry, it is my uncle. One day, God told Abraham, Put your son Isaac on the altar. God said, He will die there. So, actually, when Abraham was 100 years old, he had got Isaac. And he really loved Isaac. Because he of God when he was in when he was one hundred years old. So Abraham let's see what Abraham should do in the next page. If I am Abraham maybe I can not think that. Abraham was very sad. He didn't want his son to die. But God said he must to do this. What should Abraham do? Abraham really loved Isaac. So he couldn't sacrifice. And maybe he was thinking that how should I do? Abraham knew that he must do, he must obey God. So Abraham put Isaac on a, on an altar. So Abraham trust God. That's very like hard thing to trust actually, because like we should know that we should trust God, but. Actually, when this kind of situation comes to us, we will be difficult to trust God and obey God. So, Abraham put Isaac on the altar. But God said, oh, but God didn't, did not let Isaac die. Stop, God said. I won't. I do not want Isaac to die now. I know that you really obey and trust me. So, Isaac, when Isaac was going to kill Abraham, Isaac, oh sorry, when Abraham was going to kill Isaac, God, it was a test for Abraham and God did not let Isaac to die. We should trust God then, there will be something good. Now, I know that you really trust me. Abraham was very happy. He went home with Isaac. Are you happy that Abraham obeyed God? Yes, I am very happy. We should obey God, right? Yes, we should obey God. If we obey God, we... Like... God... Has promised for us. So we should every time obey God. And Abraham, there was one goat in a bush, so they have sacrificed that instead of Isaac. Sixth chapter, Jacob's dream. Jacob saw a ladder. Genesis 27 to 
28. Jacob was very sad. He had to run away from home. He had to go far away. So, one day, there was one man called Jacob. He had this brother, brother, but he have his father could not feel good, so he have like taken the blessing of his father instead of his brother, like tricking brother and father. So Jacob was running from away from the home. Jacob walked all day. He walked for far from home. When he stopped, it, it was time to sleep. So he was running and running, running all the way. The bee is so big in this picture. It was time to sleep. Why there's a bee? Well, well we can see from here. I didn't know this. That night, Jacob had a dream. He saw a ladder. It went all up to heaven. Angel went up and down to the ladder. So, in his dream, there was angels in his dreams. And there was a big ladder. It got, it was, it went to, until the heaven. And angels went up and down. Hmm. If I am in, if I am in that thing, like I want, I think I will want it to go and see the heaven. <laughs> then God talked to Jacob. I will go with you. God said, I will help you. So. Jacob had taken the blessing, blessing, right? So, God, actually, we all, if we don't have a blessing for God, God will still love us and will be with us. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, is always with us. Maybe, no, he will, he's also here, but we can see. Jacob stopped the dreaming. He said that God was here. He said, and God will go with me. So I think Jacob was very happy because God was what Jacob. Uh, I also want God, like, I also want to see God, but Jacob didn't saw God, but he heard God's voice. Jacob was happy. He went, God, went to go to, eh, God to go with him. He wanted God to help him. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did it enjoy? I really want to go with God everywhere. The Holy Spirit and God is same. The Holy Spirit came for us to be with us. So in this time also, the Holy Spirit is here. But we can't see. But I don't know why we can see. 
yes to the earth the bible story please enjoy and next time i will read another good story then see you next time bye